Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to check another antivirus piece of software for Windows 8 which is called Bitdefender. Bitdefender um, is a less known antivirus but still I see it regularly from time to time on client computers. Uh, I took the 30-day trial of the Total Security 2015 which is the equivalent of Norton 360 and McAfee Total Protection. Uh, it really checks everything on your computer. It's a complete uh, security suit here. And uh, when you install it, you have this uh, the little red icon of the Bitdefender here on the bottom right in your taskbar, but you also have a little widget that has that little green check mark. So it adds a layer of that's interesting because the widget is easy to see and really really gives you uh, a full account of the antivirus still working being on working okay so that's a nice visual way of always checking that your computer uh, antivirus is working um, the biggest problem I find with antivirus is sometimes it's not always easy to see that it's actually working and doing a job and this, I think, is a good idea. Um, the Bitdefender Total Security 2015 comes with all sorts of protection, antivirus, uh, web protection for scam and phishing. Uh, it will check for any vulnerabilities in your computer. Has firewall, has intrusion detection, if somebody's trying to, you know, uh, hack into your computer uh, and anti-spam for um, all sorts email and even uh, social stuff so it really checks everything it has privacy so you can have data protection it has a wallet where you can store all sorts of information in em um, email passwords and stuff so that you can uh, keep it safe uh, SafePay is an interesting uh, thing that I like about this antivirus. It actually opens a different sandboxed browser window that is controlled by Bitdefender. And in there, you can actually go and make some, um, if you need to buy something online, online shopping, or you need to go to your bank, it will actually ask you, it knows when you're trying to go to a bank site or a shopping site. And it's going to say, do you want to use the safe pay option? And it actually opens a Bitdefender type browser. So it really, really makes everything safer. Uh, and that's probably the key point that I really love about Bitdefender. Uh, that option of having a uh, you know sandbox or kind of a uh, browser window in a prison where nothing or almost, you know, it doesn't prevent 100% scams, you know, I mean, if your computer has a keylogger, it's it's not going to protect you because a keylogger just checks what you're typing in a keyboard. So it's before that security. But it is something good if your computer was, uh, you know, hacked or maybe you have this little rootkit inside your computer, the safe pay actually is an interesting protection that does have a layer of protection to your online shopping and banking. It has file encryption possibilities so you can actually add files and encrypt them. That's also a very nice option. It has the different tools of a uh, one-click optimizer which will check for uh, you know what's wrong with your computer. Startup optimizer which will check and uh, let you know how uh, long it takes for your computer to load. Funny thing is, um, it does let you know that how long, but it doesn't actually tell you how long Bitdefender takes to load. And I did notice a very, very, um, a very big slowdown of startup with Bitdefender. PC cleanup, which is the usual cleanup of temporary files and all sorts of things. Disk defrag, uh, registry cleaner, registry recovery, and uh, double click. Duplicate Finder. Uh, the Duplicate Finder is interesting because it uh, actually does work well and lets you see any duplicate files you might have. So if you have doubles, uh, this is a nice little feature here that um, other antiviruses uh, don't have. 
You have SafeGo safe for Facebook, which uh, actually protects you much more in your Facebook and tries to uh, warn you of anything that could be a bad, um, you know, scam or phishing attempt through Facebook. Uh, Anti-theft, you can actually, uh, you know, register your device and find it somewhere else. A little bit like the Macs, they have, uh, you know, if you have an iPhone or a Mac computer. You can actually check for your computer if it's stolen. Uh, but of course, the device needs to be turned on and on the internet for it to work. And Safebox, where you can manage folders and uh, share files. It's very, very complete. It actually does have more options than most um, antiviruses that I've seen. Now, for speed, uh, Bitdefender is good and bad why it's bad at startup as soon as I installed Bitdefender the startup of my computer was much much slower and it did show that my antivirus was there so that's the bad thing um, it is slow enough to a point that personally it annoys me a lot but if you're the kind of person that you know just boots up the computer, goes make a cup of coffee or something and comes back uh, five minutes or ten minutes later, well that is not going to be a problem. After it is started, after that little check mark here says, well okay you're ready to go, um, the computer is actually quite fast. In McAfee, total protection, um, you know, I told you that the boot up time was slow and the computer itself was slow. In Bitdefender, if you can go by the slow boot time, the computer itself actually works really well afterwards. It's fast, uh, browsing is fast, and it has all the little, you know, protections that the other ones have. So if you try to, uh, if you try to find, um, no, malware bytes, uh, a search. You have these little check marks, the green check marks, like the ones that you had, and um, it does have the same protection. So if you go on a website, for example, here I know this has a malware. If I click on it, it um, actually tells me, look, Bitdefender blocked this page. It's blocked. This is nice. Um, it's actually better than uh, Total Protection from McAfee because it doesn't give me a choice. But you can, you know, there's a very small. I understand the risks and take me there anyway. You can bypass it if you really want to. But it you know blocks pages that it knows has problems and this is really nice. And it has the green check marks to let you know. But like Norton, and that's what I find funny, is that you see that there are check marks, green check marks, to say the the page is safe, yet if I click the download it doesn't say it's safe. So you know there's kind of a contradiction here. But at least the little trick marks do help in you know, knowing which sites are good or not. But remember, the best antivirus is you, the user, and that's very important. Um, you have access to your wallet, and if you try to access, for example, um, a banking website, if I go to um, Bank of America, and try to go there, it does ask me, do you want to use SafePay? And you can say yes, and that's where it opens this browser window that is Bitdefender browser, or looks like a Bitdefender browser, and there is going to be the protection. You're really, really protected. Not only now are you secure, but you're also in a sandbox that isolates the bank site from your the rest of your computer, which is really good. And this is probably the best feature that I find in Bitdefender. It's really nice to have that feature. It's actually uh, interesting. But remember, if you have a keylogger or, or, or any type of uh, you know uh, malware that hides and checks your keyboard for what you type, it won't protect you because that's before the security, and it's still gonna steal your information. So. Uh, you know, don't take that as being 100%, but it is nice and it actually adds a nice little layer of protection to your computer. 
So total security 2015, uh, better than McAfee, that's for sure. Uh, McAfee was the horrible antivirus uh, that we tested for now, and we're going to test others, so <laughs> maybe we'll have surprises. Uh, but I still think, for now, Norton 360 is actually an amazing piece of software. Um, so, uh, And I'm still amazed because I didn't like Norton for so long, and I'm a little surprised at how well they've done with Norton 360. So uh, Bitdefender Total Security 2015 slows down your computer. It starts quite a lot, but after you are uh, started up and booted up and everything is working, it's actually uh, almost you know impossible to see. I have an antivirus. Computer stays fast, works well, and um, I must say that the um, pay pass uh, safe pay sorry safe pay option of uh, protecting you against uh, you know being stolen or fished um, or scammed in a bank site is actually really really nice this is one of the good features of the bid defender total security uh, bid defender total security 2015 uh, if we check the prices here let's go to uh, bit defender total security uh, because I don't remember how much they asked for it. Uh, here, there's a website that has it for like um, forty bucks. I don't know how much. Here is fifty one year for 50, sixty euros. Um, so there must be, you know, let's just change this for um, let's put United States English and check for prices. If we look at prices, here we are. Bitdefender total security is $90 Canadian. That's a little steep, I must say. Um, but um, you do get a good protection. But it is steep. 90 bucks for a protection is a lot. Um, insane. So bitdefender.com, if you want to try it out, there's a 30 day trial. And uh, maybe you'll like it and want to buy it for 90 bucks. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to talk about, a problem, and we can make a video and help you and help others at the same time. And hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching.